Hey, thanks for watching and please enjoy this video of me painting a little plastic cowboy. That was actually a pretty good riff. Uh, I just kind of let it ride there. I, the free file I found in this iMovie program. Uh, yeah, man. That was a good riff. I was jamming to it. I decided to leave it in. It was completely free and probably overused. Yeah, all right. Anyway, let's get started. Alrighty, so yeah, I just primed this guy with Chaos Black and Vallejo Red Primer on top as like a Xenothal overspray. Pretty straightforward. Just uh, jumping ahead here, I'm going to show you my paints. I got the uh, the Army Painter brand stuff for this. I tried to keep it all under, armed into Army Painter. Um, I have a lot of it. I want to get rid of it and eventually go completely Vallejo. But um, here I'm using the uh, dark brown. Oh, so, oh, it's an oak brown, monster brown, and I got a matte white as well. All right, yeah, so you're gonna see here in just a second, I'm gonna actually start to do a, like a wet dry brush, nice and nice and damp, but uh, using that oak brown and just kind of gently painting over all of the top surface, of the surfaces um, from the top down. Um, this, this whole project really was something I didn't know if I should do. I didn't know how interested in the subject matter I was and the, the, it's a plastic army man, so. Um, the sculpt is pretty crappy. There's just only a certain level of detail I was going to get out of it. But the entire process was beneficial. I mean, I, I end up stopping and hating it and then coming back to it in a few days and touching it up over two or three more sessions and it eventually gets to a place where I'm happy with the contrast and I think it's pretty cool looking. So um, here's me just filling with the, uh, the paintbrush. I had this weird long piece at the very tip which is throwing me off so I just yanked it off so yeah I just built up from oak brown to monster brown and then added in a little bit of white over several passes and then hit it with some highlights so I was really trying to focus on all the brown parts leathers and uh like his so his belts his pants his hat and his uh vest and then you'll see me I grab some army painter deep blue here and paint up he's got two shirts on from what I can tell the mom uh, I wanted to create a nice contrast between the browns and the rest of him um, rather than just going with all very desaturated colors you know I wanted something that popped a little bit but as I go through you'll see that I I uh, tone it down a lot and then I end up bringing it back up in contrast as as I kind of go through uh, the the challenges with this particular piece on top of the the model it's not a model it's just a toy but it being plastic it was very waxy in texture so when I was trying to clean it up I ended up with these weird scrape lines that I couldn't I had to try a brand new exacto knife blade all ready to go and it, it just wasn't like completing the peel as I was starting to trim it up you can kind of see it in the first few seconds of the video when I'm when I'm cleaning up the model, it was just very difficult to work with. And as I applied more and more paint, uh, it, it was just showing all of the little imperfections of the toy. So that's one of the things you have to deal with when you're doing painting of such cheap, you know, figurines. It's just part of the, the charm, I think. Uh, I ended up with something that I'm fairly decently happy with, but it did take me a long time to get there. This was done over the course of several painting sessions, and the first session of actual painting, I wasn't very relaxed and I was a little frustrated. Uh, so I kind of left it and then came back after a few days and had, I guess, like two or three more 15 minute painting sessions with it. I guess there was one 29 minute session now that I'm looking at my timeline here in more detail. The the face ended up giving me a lot of trouble. I kept going back and forth with that. Uh, and that was mostly because I was trying to push it further than it needed to go. With the Army Man video, you can see I just 
I slap the paint on and pull and then I leave it and I really didn't overwork it with this particular model I don't know why I just overworked it and it you know it stems from just different types of uh, mindset when I sit down to paint so yeah a lot of overarching lessons just from you know a couple years now of painting miniatures for fun I always like to go back and, re and, re and rework things and depending on the the investment I have in the model you know that really can set up the uh, the tone for the whole project this was meant to be something that I could do do sort of casually and to take a break from painting what I normally paint which is uh, you know Warhammer <laughs> miniatures uh, which I haven't posted any videos of obviously yet but uh, I intend to get to some of my other painting projects at some point There's a lot of hobby stuff I want to talk about on the channel but focusing on the painting stuff right now has been uh, a good way for me to sort of test this program test the limitations of iMovie I'm just keeping this very bare bones for now as I work through my process and think about the different layers I can be adding texturally to videos, uh, audio, text, trying to figure out what's working, what's not working. Very pleased with the first video uh, responses and uh, that's all been that's all been great so far. So um, yeah, this uh, this little model was a great exercise in just keeping at it and you know going through and double like basically doubling down on an idea so um here you see me applying a wash just because i thought he was a little too desaturated I actually went in and desaturated his blue sleeves a lot and then came back in and did a few more highlights with white on the gun and a few other pieces of his belt uh in a second here you'll see the final the final guy uh but yeah i Overall, like you can see here, like his eyes are pretty janky. I didn't record two things, me applying the grass to his base and for the final, final touch-ups to the face because as I was trying to darken his eyes, I didn't see any point in trying to paint pupils on this guy. The black uh, I was mixing in started to run and gave him sort of like a goth look. So I cleaned that up and you don't see that in the final images. But for the grass, I just slapped on some Gorilla Glue. Uh, super glue and then sprinkled it on it's like this little army painter I have a lot of army or stuff because what my local hobby store had uh, army painter grass is just sort of sprinkling on there so yeah here's the the final shot in a couple different angles of him yeah up close not the prettiest thing but definitely fun and cool looking for what the model was and what it started as and like I added like that chip to his hat and you can see in that center photo that the tips of the hat is actually kind of frayed and that's just because I was cleaning up the model and it it wasn't really cleaning off it was really frustrating uh, I even tried sanding it and I just ended up with these long stringy bits so one last thing worth mentioning is that the bandana I didn't touch at all that is the Vallejo paint straight from the spray can I didn't add any highlights to it I like the desaturated look in the end I wanted the emphasis to you know just be on the the overall look I didn't want to highlight any one area too much and a big reason why I pulled back on the color of the sleeves so in person it looks even better I mean it's, it's one of those things that you just have to hold to kind of appreciate but the photos do do a good job of uh, you know seeing seeing how it ended up like with uh, the, the overall look fronts and backs pretty happy with it and um, I don't think I'll be painting any more cowboys right now I think I want to get back into some of my other projects that I've left unfinished so uh, gonna put a pause on the plastic like toy figures for a bit and go back to some of my more detailed miniatures and work on some other techniques that I'm excited to share and that I really have a lot of fun with when painting as well and I gotta remember to just stay relaxed and not to worry so much about the product because at some point the, the painting is gonna look like garbage and you just have to keep working through it until you develop the skills that you don't need to don't need to uh, go back and forth so much and that just takes time. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.